Hey guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft YouTube channel. I'm Erin Scott, and if you couldn't already tell, today's video is going to be a New Year's Eve glam makeup tutorial. And I feel like I've done pretty well. I feel like I checked off all of the New Year's Eve requirements. We've got a black smoky eye, we've got glitter, we've got a nude lip, really, really full coverage, flawless base. I even put on a cute little black midi bodycon dress. I feel like this whole look is so perfect for New Year's Eve. So if you'd like to see how I achieved it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with my eyes today because we are going to be doing quite a smoky bold look and there's probably going to be a bit of fallout we're going to be working with some glitter all of the new year's typical stuff so I'm going to start with my eyes to make sure that my base is nice and flawless at the end so to prime my eyes I'm going to take the master conceal camouflaging concealer in the shade 10 fair I absolutely love using this to prime, especially for like really full glam looks because not only does it prime really well for the eyeshadow, but it hides any redness or any veins that you have on your eyelid, which I do have quite a lot. So it just makes for like the perfect base on your eyelids. And then just to set that in place, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 120. So next up I'm going to take the burgundy bar palette and I'm going to take this light brown shade over here in the corner and run that through my crease. And now I'm going to go into my Total Temptations palette and I'm going to take this matte brown shade here. It's just slightly darker than the brown that I just used in the crease. So now I'm just going to use this to build that up and add a little bit more definition to the crease. So the beauty of doing your eyes first is that you can literally be as messy as you want because we can always go back in with foundation and concealer later to clean it up. So with a really, really smoky look, you kind of want to be messy because you want to buff it out and smoke it out as much as possible. So that is why sometimes it's good to do your eyes first when you're doing a really, really smoky look like this. Alrighty, so this is where things are about to get really dark and smoky. I am going to go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in the shade Dramatic Black. Now this is a cream eyeshadow and it is just a straight up black. And what I'm going to do is put this all over my lid. Now it sounds scary, but this is going to be a really, really dark smoky eye like I've said. And putting this base down for the black is going to help intensify the black on the lid a lot better than just using like a normal black powder eyeshadow. So I'm literally taking that all over my eyelid. Again, you don't have to be super, super neat with this because we're going to go back in and clean it up with a black eyeshadow. But this is literally just acting as the base for now. And then what I'm going to do is go back into the Total Temptations palette and take this black down here and use that to buff the edges of the black that we've just put down, but also kind of set it in place as well. The trick with black eyeshadow is to go in with a little bit at a time and just kind of build it up over like a couple of layers. Is. Otherwise, if you're going too heavy at the start, you could risk completely like destroying the eyeshadow look as a whole. So yeah, definitely take it slow with black eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go back into those brown transition shades that I used before and use them to help blend out the edges of the black. And then I'm just gonna go back into the burgundy bar palette and take this dark brownie burgundy shade down here and just use that to help join the brown and the black in the transition together a little bit better. I don't know if you can tell, but adding that color into the transition is just helping to add a little bit more of a gradient between the black and the browns. Just makes it look a lot smoother, if that makes sense. All right, so I feel like no New Year's Eve makeup look is complete without glitter. So I'm gonna go in with some gold glitter on my inner corners now. It's gonna be the most epic New Year's Eve inner corner highlight. And honestly, if you're a bit scared to use glitter, but you kind of like want to experiment a little bit without going too full on, the inner corner is the best way to go. And 
And then for mascara, I'm just gonna go in with the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. So I've quickly put on some falsies as well because I feel like for a dark smoky eye you just need to have the dramatic falsies to kind of pull the look together. So now we're going to move on to the base. So for primer today I'm going to mix the Master Prime Illuminating and Anti Redness Primer. I have a little bit of redness in my skin at the moment from some breakouts so I'm going to use the Anti Redness to counteract those and then as most of you guys should know by now I love to have a dewy radiant base so that's where both of these come into it. And then for foundation today, we're obviously gonna go super full coverage because we're doing a super full on glam look. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. And this is in the shade 30 sand. Bring on the coverage. Ooh. And now for concealer, I'm gonna take the Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. Again, super full coverage, that's what we want. And now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna take the Master Fix Brightening and Baking Powder. This is a loose powder and it is so good for baking, especially when you're doing something super full coverage and super full glam, it brightens ridiculously well. And while that is baking away, I'm gonna set the rest of my face using the Fit Me Powder in the shade 120. So my camera battery died while I was setting my face, so I had to quickly wipe off the bake before it stayed on for too long while I switched my battery and all of that stuff. So I'm really sorry, but all you missed was just me wiping off my bake. I usually leave it on for about two to three minutes and then wipe it off, so straight after I finish my setting powder. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of color back into my skin using the Maybelline Bricks Bronzer. And now for blush, I'm gonna go into the Master Blush Highlighting and Blush Kit. And I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades right here. And then for highlighter, I'm just gonna take the highlighting shade from the same palette. I'm also going to bring some of that up onto my brow bone. And now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go back into the Total Temptations palette and I'm going to run the black shade really tightly along my lower lash line. And I'm going to connect it up with the outer corner just so that it's kind of like a nice transition between the eyelid and then down onto the smoky lower lash line as well. Then going back into the burgundy palette, I'm gonna take this darker shade here, which is what we used in the transition earlier, and I'm gonna use that to smoke out the black a bit more. And then lastly, to smoke it out even more, I'm gonna go in with a mixture of this light brown shade here from the Burgundy palette, and then this darker brown here from the Total Temptations palette. And then to finish all of that off, I'm just gonna coat my lashes with the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. All right, now finishing off with lips, 
Because the eyes are so bold and dark, I'm gonna stick with a nude lip. But what I'm gonna do is line my lips with a lip liner that's a couple of shades darker than the lip color that I'm gonna use. And what that's gonna do is give us the illusion that we've got bigger lips and kind of like more poutier. So I'm taking the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose, and I'm gonna use that to line my lips to start off with. And then the lip color that I've chosen to go with today is actually one of my favorite shades from the Superstay 24 hour range. This is the Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Loyalist. Alrighty, so that is the final makeup look. I feel like it's definitely a New Year's glam. Like it doesn't get much more New Year's than that. So what I'm gonna do now is jump off camera, finish off my hair and jump into my New Year's outfit. And then I'll come and show you guys the final look all together. I think I'm gonna go, I had two options for an outfit, but I think I'm gonna go with a beautiful black dress. I think it's gonna tie in nicely with my eyes. And honestly, you can never really go wrong with a little black dress for an event like New Year's anyway. So I'll be back in a second and I'll show you guys the final product. Okay, so I've zoomed out a little bit so that I can show you guys my dress a little bit better. It's an off the shoulder black bodycon dress. So it sits really nice and tight around the curves and it's got a little tie detail at the front here, which I think is really, really cute. I changed my earrings to these silver hoop earrings just for something a little bit dressier, but I kept my Tiffany necklace on just because I like a really simple decolletage with off the shoulder kind of dress. I think it's really classy, it looks really pretty. So I've just kept this on and as you can see, I kind of just cleaned up my hair a little bit, just slicked it back and I just put some hairspray in the sides so that my flyaways were a bit more controlled. And yeah, that is basically the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this New Year's Eve tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft YouTube channel if you haven't already. I hope you all have an amazing festive season. Stay safe during the holidays because it is a crazy time of the year. So make sure you look after yourselves and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.